Well, hey, everybody, huge announcement. Last night, Facebook announced something that is going to change the way that we as business owner entrepreneurs, uh, creative strategists who are out there marketing through Facebook, and this is going to affect each and every one of us, so we need to know what is going on. So we're actually gonna jump right in. We're gonna talk specifically about what Facebook has said directly to us. They've put this out to the world. We're gonna go through it line by line. We're gonna break it down and see how it affects you as an author, a photographer, an entrepreneur, someone who is marketing through Facebook. And here's the deal. With this brand new announcement, we will no longer be seen very much within the newsfeed. So we are going to be drastically minimized within the newsfeed because Facebook is putting a focus on friends and family. So us as business owners, people who are using pages, we have to know what is going on because things are changing and we have to be able to cope with it. So here we go. Let me take my words off my screen and let me get myself on with that announcement. There we go. All right, guys, check this out. Let me pull this up. We're going to read through this together so that we know exactly what is happening. If you have questions, if you have comments, hit me up in the comment box. We will look at those. So here we go. Newsfeed FYI bringing people closer together. Facebook was built to bring people closer together and build relationships. One of the ways we do this is by connecting people to meaningful posts from their friends and family in Newsfeed. Over the next few months, we'll be making updates to rankings so people have more opportunities to interact with people they care about. Here is what Mark has said. We're not even going to worry about that. We're going to keep going. We're going to go down to what is the update. Today, we use signals like how many people react to, comment on, or share posts to determine how high they appear in the newsfeed. This is something we already know, guys. We already know that this is a thing. Reactions are ranked really high. Comments are ranked really high. And shares are ranked really high, so much more so than likes on our posts. We already know that this is the thing. So when people are reacting to what we're doing and they are having conversations with us, they are ranked higher in the algorithm feed and they are shown higher and more frequently in the news feed. We already know this. With this update, we will also prioritize posts that spark conversation and meaningful interactions between people. So guys, they are putting a stronger emphasis on conversation and meaningful interactions. So for those of you who are using engagement bait, clickbait, this is not going to work anymore. If you do this from this second on, you are going to get slapped so hard within this algorithm. Do not do it. That means if you or your PAs or your VAs are putting out things like which one of these photos or choose A, B, or C, or hit the, the uh, smiley face button for this answer and the frowny face for this answer, you are going to get slapped within this algorithm system. Don't do that. Um, these are posts that inspire back and forth discussion in the comments and posts that you might want to share and react to, whether it's a post from a friend seeking advice, a friend asking for recommendations for a trip, or a news article or video prompting lots of discussion. Okay, here's the deal. All of these things, all of these words, right now what they are saying is that this is between friends, friends and family, not pages. We're not talking about pages because here's the deal. Pages have abused what they are doing here on Facebook. Unfortunately, bad things have been happening. They have not been following. They've been using engagement bait and things to get people to share. You know, if you support this, share this. Um, if you if you have someone in your life who had this disease, share this. If you are a fan of this type of book, share this. This is not going to be helping your case. They want this to be an environment where people are entertained when they're coming here to see their friends and their family. They're not coming here to be sold to. So businesses that use this by saying, buy my book or book my photo session or do this for my business, buy from me, give me money, give me something back. People don't want to sound like a commercial when they come to Facebook. So if their feed is all from these business pages, that's not going to be meaningful to them. So Facebook, I, I know, and a lot of people are going to jump in and say, well, right now Facebook is diminishing what we're doing because they want us to buy ads. And yes, that's true, but it's not the entire reason. They have taken data from their fans, from people who are using their platform, and they are seeing what they're doing. Are they interacting with business pages? No, because most business pages are saying, buy my book, book my photo shoot. And they're not having that meaningful conversation, but they will talk to their friends and family, and they want to see more of that as a whole. Now, me personally, I'm somebody who comes here from the businesses. Guys, I don't, I don't come here to hang out with my friends. I come here to see what's going on in the business world. Uh, but that's just me. Most Facebook users want to see their friends and family. They want to help out their friends and family. And so they are not going to be here to be sold to and to hear commercials. And so this is kind of a two-part thing here. They have viewed what their users are doing, what they want to see, 
and they are bending to what they need to see to keep them on the platform. So this is not about forcing businesses to shell out money for ads. This is about keeping users on their platform. And they are doing this by getting rid of the things that they don't want to see. And that is pitches and being sold to and getting those commercial like posts from business pages. So we are going to be drastically reduced within the newsfeed, but we're going to get to that in a second because we're still going to keep reading through this. Uh, guys, if you are here, leave me some comments and let me know who you are because I can see that you're here, but not that you are here. Also, if you are finding this helpful, click the share button because guess what? Now we all have to start working together to share, to like, to comment, to have these interactions because if we don't, these things, even live videos, we know how high live videos are ranked within the algorithm system. Even these will not be shown to people in the newsfeed. So hit share, share this with your friends because they're going to need to learn this. Um, we're going to jump back in. We're going to talk a little bit more about what is going on with this new update. All right. Oops, hit the wrong button there. There we go. Okay, back to this. Um, they want to inspire back and forth discussion. So they want to have actual conversations. They don't want to say, oh, pick A, B, or C. They want to say, well, here's a question I have posed to you. Let's have a conversation about this and what your opinion is on this. They want to make sure that you are liking, reacting, and sharing, and talking to your friends and family. This is going to be prioritized right here. Check this out. We will also prioritize posts from friends and family over public content consistent with our news feed values, which means flat out, you will no longer be seeing most of these business pages. Now, a lot of you, a lot of you are going to say, well, then let me just use my personal page as a as a business page. Let me use this as part of what I am doing. Guys, you cannot do that. It's against Facebook's terms of service. So if you are using a personal page as a, uh, as a page, like as a business page, that is against their terms of service. They will take away your page and ban you from Facebook when they find out. I have seen so very many people say, well, I get better engagement on my personal page. So I'm going to start as an author using this to talk to my fans or as a photographer, I'm going to start using this to interact with my clients. No against the terms of service, they will take down your page and ban you from Facebook. Don't do it. It's it's just, it's scummy. Don't do that. That's not okay. So make sure you're using this properly and they are going to start valuing personal posts over business posts in the newsfeed. That does not mean we will remove that. That will not mean that we will be removed entirely from this. We will not be removed entirely, but you know how hard it is to get an organic feed and organic reach right now? It's going to be even harder. Don't worry. We're getting to some solutions. Let's keep reading. What does this mean for pages and public content? Well, because space in newsfeed is limited, showing more posts from friends and family and updates that spark conversation means we'll show less public content, including videos and other posts from publishers or businesses. So again, what we've just been saying, this is going to be featuring friends and family, not pages. But did you catch that line? People who are doing things that spark conversation will be shown. So if you have posts that you are doing within your business page feed, then you're getting a lot of conversation. That is the type of post that you need to start putting out there. Because if you only get a comment, you're probably not going to be shown. If you are getting a hundred comments and having conversations within those comments, people are back and forth discussing, you are far more likely to be shown. But again, we're going to get to solutions in a minute. Uh, as we make this update, pages may see their reach, video watch time, and referral traffic decrease. The impact will vary from page to page, driven by factors including the type of content they produce and how people interact with it. So again, people who are with a very large fan base that interacts, that will be shown more. People who do not have a lot of interactions, you guys are not going to be seen very much. Pages making posts that people generally don't react to or comment on could see the biggest decreases in distribution. Pages whose posts prompt conversation between friends will see less of an effect. So if you are actually having people have conversations, so not just a one-off comment on your post, but they're actually having conversations, like a thread of conversations, that post is more likely to be seen. Now, what type of page posts will show higher in the newsfeed? Page posts that generate conversations between people will show higher in the news feeds. For example, live videos often lead to discussion among viewers on Facebook. So if you guys are here with me, if you're hanging out, if you are leaving me comments, if we're talking, and then more specifically, if you guys are talking to each other during the course of this live broadcast, that means this video is going to be shown to more people in the news feed. But if you just sit there and you just listen to me talk, 
this probably will not get shown as much as if you guys were hanging out with me. And uh, um, Sissy, Sherry cannot find me live. She just sent me a message. Would you be able to uh, send her the link to that for me? Thank you. Um, so if you are going to be posting on your page, you have to post quality posts, not things that are going to waste time, not, hey, look at my picture, not, hey, look at my book, not, hey, look, I've got stuff coming up, but stuff that actually creates conversation to people, with people, having discussions, that is going to help you. Um, let me see, where did I leave off? Many creators who post videos on Facebook prompt discussion among their followers, as do posts from celebrities. So flat out, they've said, if you're famous, you get more posts shown to more people than if you're not. Unfortunate. In groups, people often interact around public content. Local businesses connect with their communities by posting relevant updates and creating events. And news can help start conversations on important issues. Now, here's the big thing here, guys. Using engagement bait to goad people into commenting on posts is not a meaningful interaction, and we will continue to demote these posts in the news feed. So let's pause for just a second. Let's pause and talk about this. Recently, in the last couple of weeks or month or so, they have announced that engagement bait is not going to be a thing. If you are posting or if your PA or VA is posting to get people to do reactions or comment on your thing without it being genuine, that is getting slapped already. It's going to be so much worse once they put this new algorithm into play. So if you are putting up a picture and saying, choose one, two, or three, mm -mm. if you are putting up a post and saying, hit the smiley face for this answer, the frowny face for this answer, the angry face for this answer, no. Facebook knows what you're doing. They're very, very aware of what's going on. And if you are using this type of tactic to get engagement, it's called engagement bait or clickbait. That is a no-no. Don't do it. They've said for a while now, do not do this. They are stressing it here again. Do not do that. So if you do it or if your PA or VA are doing this on your page, get them to stop or you need to stop now. That is not something that is okay and it's not going to work for you. You have to have real conversations. So instead of saying click A, B, or C, or click one of these uh, reactions, ask a question like, what is your opinion on this? Here is my upcoming photo shoot that I'm doing. Would you rather see it as something like this, or would you rather see something like this? Or I have a new book coming out. Did you love this character? Or who's your favorite character from this book? Um, or if you have a business, we are going to be running a sale. What type of sale do you want to see? Ask opinions, ask questions that get interaction and they get comments. Um, you do not want to be doing engagement bait because that is a bad thing, unfortunately. All right, let's jump back into it. Oops, I keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. Um, does this mean you are eliminating, eliminating page content from news feeds? No, this update is not the same as the recent tests where all page content was moved to the Explore tab. Page posts will still appear in the news feed, though there may be fewer of them. So recently, guys, recently they did a test in a number of countries. It was not in the U.S., uh, but in a number of countries, they did a test where they took all of the, the uh, page content, anything that came from a page, and took it out of the news feed. So it was exclusively friends and family, and it was then moved over to the Explore tab. Now, we know the Explore tab where you can start to search for things and learn new things. And they kind of base that on things that you are already following so that you can find new pages to explore and follow. They had actually taken all business pages out of that and put it over into that Explore tab, and people kind of went crazy over that. They are not doing that same thing for this, although it would not surprise me if they start to lean that way. This is going to be something where they drastically reduce the number of pages because they don't want their people to be sold to or pitched to or all they hear is your commercial for your business or your brand. So you have to do something that sparks conversation so that you can have meaningful conversations with your fans on Facebook. Okay, so here we go. Hey guys, thanks for joining. Here's what we need to talk about. We just read through their posts. We know exactly what they're doing. We know what's going on. Uh, how do we cope with this? How do we cope with this and how do we handle this? So let's just run through this again. Pages are going to be diminished because pages have not been super cooperative. They've been selling 
they've been pitching, they've been sounding like commercials, and they are not fostering engagement. Facebook knows from their users what their users want to see, and the majority of users want to see meaningful posts from friends and family, not commercials from other businesses. And so they are going to be drastically reducing our ability to get organic reach as a page. Again, you cannot, it is against Facebook's terms of service, use a personal page as a business page. Do not do it. They will catch you and they will ban you. I've seen it happen time and time and time again from people who did not listen to me when I told them, do not do that. It's been bad. So you have to use your page, okay, capital P, page, as your business location on Facebook. However, you're going to be reduced from that. I know a lot of people are going to scream, oh, they want us to buy ads. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. But it's not exclusively about getting money from us. It is about giving their people what they want to see. Because when people do not see what they want to see in the newsfeed, they're going to start clicking away. They're going to start spending more time elsewhere. They are not going to be on this platform. And Facebook de definitely wants to keep people on their platforms. So they're showing people what they want to see. And the majority of people want to see friends and family. So we have to be strategic and we have to be ready. And yes, we are going to have to use paid ads. Yes, we are. And you know what? That's actually a good thing. I know a lot of people are like, I don't want to pay for ads. It's it, They just want to take my money. Yes, they want your money, but they also want to help you because when they place strategic ads on people's feed, Facebook news feed, this means they are taking things they know that this person is very likely to want, to like, to enjoy, to click, to read, to watch, and they are putting it in front of someone who is excited about that, which means you as a business, if you are creating your ads properly, you are targeting the right people, Facebook will take whatever you are doing and put it in front of the right people that you didn't have the ability to reach before. They're going to take your content and show it to the people who want and need to see it. Yes, it requires money. It's the way it goes. But because it's going to be more strategic and because there's no longer going to be a ton of page posts within their newsfeed, when they do see things from you as an author or you as a photographer, that is going to get their attention faster and better. So this is going to work out. It's going to work out. But you have to understand you are going to have to invest into it and learn how to properly do Facebook ads for this to work for you. Your diminished reach as a business page is a royal pain. I understand that, but you're going to learn to adapt. You're going to learn to cope and it's all going to be okay, whether you are an author, a photographer, or some other type of entrepreneur. So here we go. What are the big no-nos for you as a page owner? What should you absolutely not be doing? What is going to get you slapped in the algorithm system? Let's talk about this. The first thing I want to talk about is scheduled posts. And this is a big thing that I see with my author clients. Authors are all about saving time. And so they use something like Hootsuite or they use um, cross posting from like Twitter over to their Facebook account. This is bad. Don't do that. The algorithm for, for a very long time, the algorithm system has slapped those things and ranked them far lower, which means it has hurt the organic reach on your page because you are doing stuff like that. It's in general a bad business practice because it shows people that you're not active on that particular platform and you're not there and having real time discussions with people. But now it is even more important because it starts to look like you've got a third party app, a bot posting on your behalf and they don't like that. That is going to hurt you. You have to have posts that foster that discussion and are in real time. You are there interacting with people. Don't do scheduled posts. If you are doing them, stop it right now. Like take it down. Stop all those third party apps. Do not be cross posting between Twitter or Instagram over to your Facebook page. This is not good. I know they give you the options, but don't do it. You're smarter than that. And it's going to hurt you in the system. They flat out said this is hurting you in the system. Don't do it. Do not do engagement bait or clickbait. We've talked about that. I, I keep stressing this, so I'm not going to go through it again, but don't use engagement bait. If you are using it, if your VA is using it, tell them to stop. You've got to stop that and you've got to have meaningful conversations and start the actual discussion because Facebook's algorithms are really, really good and they know what is clickbait. And the second you start doing that clickbait, the second you start doing that type of, um, the second you start doing that type of posting, that is going to hurt you from this second on. If you've done it before, whatever, move on. From this second on, don't do it. The new algorithm is gonna be enacted in the next couple of weeks and it's really going to start to hurt you, but they're watching right now. They always watch, it's Facebook, they know everything. Facebook and Instagram, speaking of, Facebook owns Instagram, that's why everything is connected like this. Um, 
they know everything. They watch what you're doing. They see what you're doing. So if you are using clickbait engagement bait right now, it's going to affect you later. So stop now. Do not do a ton of posts. Okay. And this is, this is kind of a newer concept. We've always said, yes, you should be posting. But once they started enacting the, uh, the algorithms, once they've started enacting the algorithms that know who is reacting and who is commenting, who is liking, who is sharing, if you are not getting that type of reaction, if you're not getting that type of engagement, you are starting to rank yourself lower in the algorithm system. So the more you post during the day, that kind of spreads out how many times people are interacting with you. So if I know that you post once a day, I'm going to take the time to jump in and I am going to check out what you posted that day. I want to see what you're posting about your book characters or about your new photo shoots or whatever it is that you're doing. I am not going to catch every single one of 10 posts that you do in the day, right? That's highly unlikely that I would catch all 10 posts or take the time to scroll through 10 posts as a fan of your page. So if you post once a day, this is going to be the most effective way of doing this. The less you post now and the more strategic you post and the more you get people to interact on those posts, the better you're going to do and the higher you're going to be ranked and the more it's going to be put out to other people. If you're posting a ton and you're only getting a couple comments here and there, that's not going to help you. But if you are posting once very strategically and people are liking, sharing, commenting, watching, interacting, that is going to be bumped up higher. So do not do a ton of posts. Now, this is different over on Instagram, depending on what your business and brand is. As an author, you should be posting multiple times on Instagram. You should be doing very bookstagram style images because you are going to get that constant, consistent interaction over on Instagram. Not so much on Facebook. Now, if you are a photographer, if you are posting a billion times a day on Instagram, probably not going to help you as much. I would limit it to once or twice a day. A day. Wow, words hard, hard today. Um, and as an entrepreneur, if you're a business, depending on what you're doing, depending on what your business is. So if you are an entrepreneur here that I have not mentioned one of your businesses, go ahead and let me know. I will cater this to you guys. Um, but you should not be posting a ton over on Instagram and certainly not a ton on Facebook now that they are saying don't post a lot of things, post meaningful things, and do it strategically. What should we be doing as entrepreneurs on Facebook to work with this new algorithm? Well, one post a day. Make sure you keep it limited. Make sure you keep it strategic. Make sure you keep it relevant and you are having conversation. So not only do you need to be posting, but you need to be in there having conversation with them, interacting with their comments, having discussions, facilitating conversation between other people. So if you have a post where you say, hey, listen, I've got this going on. What's your opinion or what's your recommendation on this? And people start talking. You can say, oh, hey, this person said the same thing. You guys should talk or this person's a fan of this. You should talk or we should have a conversation about this and keep it going. You need to consistently check to make sure that people are interacting and commenting throughout the course of the day as you are posting this. And we have tons of information on Reading Transforms and K.M. Robinson Photography about what time of day you should be posting, when you should be posting, how you should be posting. All of that's on there. So I'm not going to get into that now. But you guys know engagement is really important. Here's the deal. I know some of you are going to be panicking right now because people are not going to see your posts. But for those of you that do have fans that follow you, that kind of stalk you, that are there frequently, um, you are going to be seeing that they are going to not see you so much in the feed, even though they are interacting. There is a, a way to get around this. Sorry, I was reading the conversations, guys. I'm sorry, I got distracted there. Up at the top of your Facebook page, there's a way for people to follow you. They can see you first in their news feed. So when they click that like button on your page, if they have clicked it and they have then said to see it first in their news feed, that is going to show up first in their news feed, whether or not the algorithm decides to show it to them. So even if you have posts that are not necessarily the most engaged, you are still going to be seen by people who follow you. So if they see you first in their news feed, that's going to be right up at the top. So every morning they're going to get a chunk of things that they have followed that says see it first in their newsfeed. That's going to be right up there and they won't miss your posts. So encourage your fans to click the see in newsfeed first button over on the like button on your page. This is going to get them to be able to see it every single time and not, well, not every single time, but most, for the most part, they're going to see a lot of what you are doing and it's going to be right at the top of their newsfeed. So this is something we need to encourage. If you as an author have fans out there that do not want to miss your posts, tell them to fix this, go in, click the like button and fix uh, it so that they see it in their newsfeed first. If you are a photographer who's working with your local businesses, you're working with people locally, you want to say, hey, listen, 
go ahead and click on this button. You're going to get all the info about my model calls and about my mini shoots and about the different projects that we're working on and different interactions that we're doing within the community. So again, if you're a photographer. We've talked about this a lot. We want you to get involved with businesses and the local people and do different events with them and talk about what's going on locally for your people to encourage them because not everybody wants photo shoots 24 seven, right? People basically do photo shoots once or twice a year unless we're talking about mini sessions. And so you need to give them valuable information so they consistently stay with you. But again, that is stuff we have content on. Go check that out. It's really important. You're going to want to make sure everybody's using that follow button. You want to use things like, and here we go. This is one of my favorite things to talk about. You want to use things like bots. Bots are important. Now, we did talk about bots a little bit in the context of not using things that look like bots posting. These are two different types of bots, so stick with me here. Bad bots are things like third posting party apps. Those are things that post on your behalf and show that you are not present. That's bad. We don't want to use those. But actual bots, okay, actual bots that work in Facebook Messenger, these are good things because that promotes interaction. So bots are things that you link up to your Facebook page to deliver freebies, to have interactions with people, to answer frequently asked questions, to give out things on live broadcasts, which I didn't do today, um, but I do have it rigged up so that on certain broadcasts, I can say, hey, I've got a freebie for you, type a word in the comments, and that will pop up in your direct message inbox, and you will get whatever freebie I'm giving out to you that day, or links, or all sorts of fun and fabulous things. These are good bots. These are strategic bots. These are bots that Facebook promotes. In fact, Facebook has recently launched their own version of bots. It is a, a very early stage bot. I don't necessarily recommend using the Facebook bots that they have done. But if you use something like ManyChat, which is what I use, um, that is something that's very, very good. And I do have courses on how to use bots like that and get those set up. Yes, it's hard if you do not know what to do. But if you have a step-by-step -step guide, aka me, it's so much easier. We'll get you set up in like an hour. It's awesome. Like click for click, step by step. It's good. Bots are good. Bots are good because they promote interactions. You can link them up to your live broadcast. You can link them up to specific posts. Uh, and you can link them up to like your pictures. It's great. It's fabulous. Bots are the best. And when people direct message you, it's not like they have to wait to hear around from you. They will automatically hear from your bot. And chances are in 90% of these cases, the bot can take care of them if you set it up right. I don't even have to talk to most people on my page because my bot handles everything for me and it only took a few hours for me to set it up with a billion different types of bots. Live broadcasts are going to help you. Live broadcasts have always been ranked high in the algorithm system. You need to make sure you're doing live broadcasts. I know some of you are terrified of live broadcasts. We have resources here at Reading Transforms and Cam Robinson Photography to help you with your live broadcasts, but you need to do those. They're ranked higher. And yes, they have flat out said your reach on your live broadcast will be diminished in the newsfeed. They've told us that it's still going to be more beneficial than just a post, a photo post, or even a video post. Live is going to be super helpful to you. You need to be doing lives because it shows that you're interacting. You're taking the time to engage with your fans. And if you can get people to come talk to you, like well, these comments right here, which we're going to go through in a minute to answer your questions. If you've got questions. Now's the time to hit me up. But if you have comments on there and if you have interactions and if people are talking to each other on these posts, that's going to spit it out in more news feeds and higher in the news feeds. And the most important thing is to have conversations. You need to have conversations with people. So whatever you're doing, whether you're posting, you're live broadcasting, you're doing it with your bots, whatever it is that you're doing, you have to have that conversation with people so that it goes back and forth with a dialogue between you and your fans and your fans and your fans. Super important. That's going to rank you higher. So train your fans, train, train your fans, train your clients, train your people to get on your business page and start having conversations with you and use that follow button because it's really gonna help. So let me go ahead and take a look at some of these questions. I know we had at least a couple. Big Brother is watching you, yes. Okay, uh, does scheduling posts via Facebook hurt you as well? No, because this is a Facebook thing. So you are in Facebook, you are live within Facebook, you have posted within Facebook and they allow you to schedule it. That's okay, that's not gonna hurt you, that's an option Facebook has given to you and they specifically said that that is fine to use. Um, if you use a third party app, however, to schedule a post, that is what's going to ding you. So you can use what Facebook has given you to schedule a post because you were live in there. But then the trick is the key is the most important part is to then go back in and have conversations on there. So the second, not well, it doesn't have to be the second somebody posts, but as soon as you notice someone has posted, take the time to interact with them. Even if they've just left, like 
whatever, a one word answer, you have to find a way to have a conversation with them. So if they said, oh, cool, you can jump on and say, thanks, I really love this. This is why. Or you can ask them another question. You got to do something to get their attention and have a conversation with them. But if you're not responding at all, that's going to be a little problematic. Um, let me see. What other questions do we have? Transformers versus ver uh, Transformers versus Deceptions. Yes, I want. I I'm not super familiar with the Transformers movies. Like I've seen them like once, so I'm just gonna run with that. But yeah, yeah, it's two very very different things there. Good bots, bad bots. Um, okay, so when a friend or follower shares your post and they begin a discussion on said post on their page, does that help you? The share helps you. The share that they have put out there helps you. The discussion does not necessarily help you. It helps you indirectly in that that person's post will then be shown because of that conversation to more of their friends. But that does not help your page. It does not help your ranking. It just helps to get your content in front of more eyes because it's going to share that person's share of your post to more of their friends. So it gets at you in front of more eyes, which is awesome, but it does not count toward your ranking. The share does, the comments don't. So if they can actually post it and then people post comments on your post, like if they click on that person's share and it brings it up big, then it'll count for you. But if it's just a string, a thread on theirs, that's not going to count for you as far as the algorithm goes aside from that share. Um, cool. Okay, who else has comments? If you have comments, let me know. The biggest thing right now, guys, the biggest and most important thing is that you are having these conversations with people, that you are starting discussion, you're facilitating that conversation, and you're starting these threads. Uh, when you say clickbait, does that mean things like, Leave an emoji to tell us your type of day post. Yes, that is exactly what that means. So clickbait or engagement bait is anything like use the smiley face reaction for this answer. Use the angry face for this answer. Um, pick A, B, or C. Or, you know, leave a GIF to tell us about your day. Or use an emoji to tell us about your day. Those are all engagement bait. And Facebook knows. They look for these keywords. They look for, and I, I mean, I can't specifically say they look for this because we don't actually know how their algorithms work. But based on what we've seen, this is my opinion, um, they're going to go through those comments. And if it's all the same thing, like everybody's saying A, B, C, or if everybody's doing a reaction to it, or if uh, everybody's leaving a specific type of GIF, they know. They know what that means. They go through these comments and they see what people are doing and you are going to get slapped so hard within the algorithm system for doing this because people don't want to see that. They want real engaging conversations. So you have to ask questions that are opinion questions or recommendations. So instead of saying, tell me how your day is going with an emoji, use something like, hey, we are doing some really cool stuff today. What are you guys doing? Give us the best thing that you are working on today. Or, you know, what would you rather be doing today? What would you rather be doing today than working? Tell us your number one thing that you would do today if you had no responsibilities. And let people start to leave their opinions or their um, recommendations. So let's say that you're having an interesting day. And you want to know, hey, guys, I need a break for today. I need to take my uh, 30 minutes for myself. What should I do during those 30 minutes? Ask their opinion. See what happens. Uh, do types of comments rank higher or lower? GIFs versus text versus emojis? Yes. Uh, well, comments, not so much. As long as there are comments and they're meaningful comments, comments are kind of the same. Comments do rank higher than things like reactions comments rank higher than likes. So within the algorithm system, we know that if you just hit the little like button on a post, that's okay. Okay, you've done something. There's some interaction, but it's low. It's like the lowest form of interaction that you can have. Reactions are higher because you actually have to click on the button and go through some smiley faces and pick what's going to work for you. So that's ranked a little bit higher. Comments are ranked really high because it means you're having conversation. You've got somebody and you have their attention enough to the point or that they are leaving a comment for you. They are interacting with you. They're leaving words for you. That takes time. So Facebook knows if someone is taking the time to interact with you via comments or shares, 
this is going to be something that is obviously worth people's time more than something that just gets some likes or reactions. So comments in general, as far as we know, as far as we know, okay, this, this could be different. They have not told us about this within the algorithm, but as far as we know, comments are comments. It's probably going to be, and I, I would guess here, it's probably going to be if you leave words, it would be ranked higher than a GIF. But if you leave words with a GIF, that is probably um, that is probably going to be ranked higher because just a little picture, that's cool, but it doesn't mean that you've taken the time to write words. Um, let me see. Will this affect Facebook events like author launch parties, which feature a lot of posts like these? Okay, so here's here's the difference here. It depends on where you're hosting these parties. Right now, we're talking specifically about pages, and pages are different than groups. And this is actually something I wanted to bring up and didn't mention, so thank you, Alicia, for bringing this up. Right now, we don't have a lot of information on what groups are going to be going through. We know that groups foster a lot of engagement, which is good, right? Because it's made for discussion. It's made to have conversations. It's different than a business promoting themselves through their page. So a group is an entirely different entity than a page. And it is there specifically to have meaningful conversations, which is what this whole thing has been about, right? We want this meaningful conversation. This is what's going to be shown in your newsfeed. And this is why pages are diminished and friends and family are put in the forefront of what we're doing here. So right now, we don't really know how it's going to affect groups. It's not going to take place for the next couple of weeks. They're going to start to roll this out. But I would guess that it's not, it's either not going to change the visibility of groups within your newsfeed, or it's, it's going to maybe promote it even a little bit more because it fosters that conversation. So it's definitely going to be ranked higher than pages. And maybe that means as an author, you should be having a straight team group or a read along group. Guys, PS, if you've not done a read along group, you need to do one. They are good. I've got one going on. I've been doing it for the last couple of months. Super highly engaged. Very, very good. Um, but that does not mean you should ignore your page, your business page, because that's still important. Um, but from what I can tell, as long as you're getting engagement on the posts within a party on a group, that shouldn't, I would hope, I would think it wouldn't hurt too much because you're getting a lot of conversation. If, however, someone is posting and they are simply acting as a commercial, I've been in so many author parties where people jump on and they're just like, look, this is my book, buy my book, you can see me on Amazon here, you can see me on Goodreads here. If that's the kind of post that you're doing, that's going to get nailed in the algorithm. It will bring the entire group and the entire party down. It will not be shown. If everybody is playing active games where they're asking questions and people are telling their favorite uh, story world that they would hope that they could survive in or whatever, that is going to be something that would be more likely to be shown in the feed. But again, you don't get to see a lot of things in the feed if you're not in that group. So it's kind of a double-edged sword there. All right, let me see. Um... Uh, Alyssa, or like, I'm in the process of making a cucumber slash candle. What's your favorite springtime scent? Yeah, that's a good question to ask. As long as you're asking meaningful questions that start conversations, that's going to help. I would actually put a tweak on that. I would go as far as to say, hey, guys, I am making candles right now. What's your favorite springtime scent? But instead of saying that, I would say, which one should I make next? You can give them options. That that's okay. That's a little engagement, baby. If you're going to see the same things over again, over again. Wow, words. Um, but you could say, "Hey, what would you love to see? What would be the best scent to have in your living room?" Here's a great one. Jump on and say, "I am currently making a cucumber splash candle. Which room in your house would this best fit with?" Or you could say, "I'm in my kitchen. I am making a cucumber splash candle." What is the best scent that fits your kitchen and why? Pretty good, right? Uh, let's see. Is there any word on when pages might be getting fun backgrounds? Do you mean in comments, Sherry? Um, so we know on personal pages, you can do the fun colored backgrounds for your thing. It's supposed to get people's attention. Um, right now, pages does not have that availability. I have not heard that they are going to be doing that for pages. 
I'm going to guess that that's probably not necessarily something that they want to do for pages because remember with the algorithm, we have text posts ranked the lowest. That means nobody cares about just words. They do care a little bit more about photos, but photos are easily digestible and they can see them in about three seconds and they can move on with their life. Videos, they actually have to stop and watch three seconds to decide whether or not they are going to be watching that video. So they are going to have a little bit longer engagement on that because they have to stop and see if that's something they want. And then live video takes a little bit longer to decide if that's something you want to stick around and watch. So text posts are basically like low. They're very, very ranked low on this. You don't want to be posting just text posts because nobody cares about that. Even a, a text post with a GIF is going to be better than just doing a text post. So you should be posting things with accompanying photos or videos. Um, these are ranked higher and these are valued more. So uh, I would be a little surprised if they get around to doing backgrounds for just text posts because they have flat out encouraged for months and months and months people to stop just posting text because their viewers don't like that, which is why they actually added that to the personal pages because it's boring just to read text posts. And most people on personal pages don't have pretty photos or videos or reasons to put photos and videos out with their personal posts if they're just posting a status. So they wanted to make it a little prettier, a little more engaging, a little more entertaining, and they gave them these backgrounds. I don't know if they're gonna do it for pages. I would be a little surprised if they did because they're trying to get people to post more meaningfully and do it in a way that engages their fans in a better way. So I don't I don't know if they would do that, but right now I have not heard anything about them doing it. But I would encourage you to use photos, to use videos, to do meaningful things and to do live broadcasts to get people's attention on your pages because it's gonna work better for you. And if there's something you really want with pretty backgrounds, just make a graphic, canva.com, super cheap. Or if you're a photographer, like I know some of you are, use Photoshop because best technology you have available to you, right? Okay. For a page like a candle business, what would the benefits of a group be or would it be worth it? Um, yeah, you could definitely have a group. I would create a group that would be uh, kind of like an early access group. So these would be the people that would give opinions on your new scents. These would be people that have first access to your new scents. They would have access to coupons and sales and exclusive deals. And these people would kind of be like your evangelists. So this would be your team. It would be like your beta team, your team to bounce ideas off of. So these are people that really know your business. They like your business. They want to work with you. And they want kind of exclusive access and a little bit of a say in your business. So in this group, you would be putting out things like which of these scents should I do? Do you like this? Do you like this new label? Do you like how I'm styling these? Do you like these colors? What is it that you like about this? What do you want to see more of? How would you set this up as a centerpiece? How would you give this as a gift? These are going to be questions that will bounce back and forth between people. And that is the benefit of a group for you because you're going to be getting ideas, but it's also going to be fostering engagement with these people. And they're going to get excited about your new sense. So yay that. Uh, I nodded like you could see me, Sherry said. <laughs> Yes, yes, I do like when people nod. I do that a lot um, when I'm talking to people and they cannot see me. I definitely, I definitely was preparing for a broadcast we did maybe two weeks ago. And um, I had a, a Skype consultation with the gentleman who was the guest star on this show. And we just did it without cameras. And so he was sitting there talking and I'm sitting there like to let him know that I was listening to what he was saying. He couldn't see me. There's no camera. I do that all the time. All right, what other questions do you have for me? I'm going to grab some water. The main thing here, the main thing here, guys, is that you absolutely have to foster engagement and conversation. You have to be posting things that have people talking because if they're not talking, Facebook will not show it to people. You need to train your fans to look for your content and you need to train them to go to your page and click that show first in newsfeed button so that they do not miss your posts. You need to be doing things to get them to engage with you. You need to learn how to do consistent and frequent live broadcasts like these. I know it's scary. We have resources. I will help you, but you got to learn to do it because it's the only thing that's valued really high within that algorithm. And it's going to be shown more in news feeds than anything else. And we even know that they have flat out said in this recent post, they did last night, 
that even that is going to be reduced within the newsfeed. So you have to take the time and make the effort to learn how to adapt to this to get it out there. Do not use engagement bait or clickbait. Do not cross post from Twitter and Instagram. Do not use a third party app to be posting. Post once a day. You don't want to overkill on this. So if you have one really important thing to say per day, that's what you want to go for. You want to get that out there so that people can see it and engage with it. You do not want a bunch of posts that have limited engagement because that does not help you. You want to make sure that you have one really strong post per day or every other day because the less you put out that is more strategic and fosters more engagement, the better you're going to do. You do not, under any circumstances, want to be posting a bunch of things that people don't really care about. Um... (laughs) <laughs> okay, Alicia. So we're going to do a little connecting here. We're going to do a little matchmaking. Alicia wants to know, um, and this is actually over to uh, not me, but I'm matchmaking here. Um, she doesn't know anything about the candle business, but could you create sense from books? She actually does this. Uh, Alyssa, this is something that she does. And she has done it for my books. She's doing it for my books. She's doing it for some other authors. So if you want to connect with her, great business venture right here. Jump in and get that connected. And this particular right here, This type of discussion that goes back and forth that doesn't have anything to do with me on my live broadcast, that's helping me. That's getting this out here. So when you're doing things like live broadcasting, you want to say, hey, if this is helping you, if this is going to help other people, click the share button, help a girl out, right? We want to make sure that we're getting that engagement. Uh, And and we know with the algorithms, it's also really important to have that engagement on uh, an early basis. It, it is time sensitive. We don't know what the time frame is, but within a certain amount of time, if you do not have a certain amount of engagement, you are knocked down as not as important. If you post something, uh, if you get a lot of engagement while you're live or pretty quickly after you post things, you're going to do a lot better within the newsfeed on the old algorithm system and probably on the new one as well. All right, I'm wrapping this up. If you have last minute questions, now is the time. I'm going to run through this one more time. They have made changes to the algorithm system. They are changing it right now. It is being rolled out in the next couple of weeks, and it is going to change how you are viewed on Facebook. Your page content will not be shown nearly as much, and if you are not really good at getting engagement, it probably will not be shown at all. Um, You want to make sure that you are posting things that get people's attention and get them to interact. That is commenting, that is sharing, and that is giving reactions. Liking is helping but not so much. Reactions are awesome. Not as much as shares, not as much as comments. So when you are getting your content out there and people are interacting with it in a meaningful way, Facebook thinks, oh, this is popular. This is important. More people want to see this. We will show this to more people. If you are not getting comments, likes, and shares, you will not be ranked as important enough to show to a whole bunch of people. And we know everything is changing because we are watching them test it. If you missed my comment earlier, they started testing things where they took business pages entirely out of news feeds and put it in the Explore tab. They have said this is not what that is, but they tested it. When they test things, there is a reason. So here's your heads up. Stuff might be coming. Stuff might be changing. But they have flat out said, your business pages will be drastically reduced. Again, you cannot use a personal page as a business or a brand. You cannot do that. I know you get more engagement. I know it shows it to more people, but it is against their terms of service. They will find you. They will close down your page and they will ban you from Facebook. I've seen it happen to far too many people who have not listened to me. I have flat out told people and they didn't listen and they got caught. It was bad. Um, seems like a good group idea if you weren't interested in a candle business. What did I miss something? Oh, yes. Uh, Alicia said, uh, no, Alyssa said that uh, you could do a candle for authors books group. And then Alicia said, yes, yes, you absolutely can. That would be awesome. And um, that'd be a great way to discuss it. You could actually, if that is something that you do, you could actually go as far as to say, um, get all my authors come here. This is what we're doing. Let's work together to market this for both of us. And here's some new ways we can leverage this for both of our brands. That's a really cool business. All right. Uh, If you are hanging out with me, thank you guys so much for joining. If this has been helpful to you, click the share button. I know this ran way longer than I wanted it to. I was going to go super short with this, but then we got a lot of questions. So that's okay. I love questions. Questions help me. Questions help you. And if you have more questions, if you're watching the rebroadcast, go ahead and leave your comments below. I will help you out with those. Um, 
later today, I will be on a show, um, which I just literally got the link for. She literally just sent that to me. Uh, and I will be hanging out at 3.30 Eastern time to talk about me as an author, me as a photographer, and me as a social media strategist. So you can absolutely come hang out with me. I'll get you links to that. I'll post them because um, she just sent that to me. And I wasn't able to show that to you until just now. Oh, she's sending it to me again. Yes, she is. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. One more question. Alicia uh, says, does Facebook ding you if you share your author page post through your personal page? Well, it's not necessarily going to ding you in the system so much. Uh, they do not want you sharing everything. So if you have like one meaningful post or two meaningful posts, awesome. That's great. And it's better than just uh, blatantly advertising yourself on your page because that's a no-no. So you can click the share button. Don't do it a lot because you're going to frustrate your friends. They don't want to see all of that. If they wanted to see that, they'd follow your page. But if you have some meaningful posts, absolutely go ahead and share that. That is not a problem at all. That will help you. But if they comment on that shared thread, that doesn't count toward your page algorithm stats. Okay? That will count toward your personal stuff. And people will see more of that because your friends will see that that is something that people are popularly talking about. Um, and and that will show more to more people. It would be awesome. But it doesn't count toward your page stats unless they go to the actual original post and post on that. All right. Take that down. Pop that baby back up. Uh, so here we go. Lots of fun things in the Facebook world today. That was a little announced last night. You can check that out on the Facebook blog if you want to read that more. Uh, it's just facebook.com slash blog. It'll kick you over to the newsroom. Actually, I think it's like facebook.com slash news. I just use slash blog. That's the way it goes. Um, but... Go ahead and read through that. You can see where that works and see how that is going to help you. I'm Cam Robinson, social media marketing strategist at Reading Transforms and Cam Robinson Photography. And if you are an author, you can join me at K... Uh, no, if you're an author, you can join me at readingtransforms.com where we are educating you on how to use social media to market you as an author and engage, empower, and equip your fans to get out there and market on your behalf. You can also join me as a photographer over at kmrobinsonphotography.com. Same deal, but for you as photographers. If you are an entrepreneur who is not an author or a photographer, you can still join me. If you are a someone who does online business, if you market your online business, your clients come to you through the internet, you're going to want to hang out with me at readingtransforms.com. And if you are someone who works on a local level, which means you own a brick and mortar store or you're working with local based clients like a photographer, right? Come join me at camrobinsonphotography.com. We're doing all sorts of amazing things. And we're talking about things like these new algorithm changes and all the things that are going on. Uh, with Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, your newsletter, your blogs, your websites, anything that's going to help you market online, this is what we handle. So if you've got questions, if you've got comments, let me know. We will happily tell you uh, everything that is going on. Connie, oh, Connie. Connie, we're, I'm literally just wrapping it up. Uh, Facebook has a brand new algorithm change. It drastically affects the fact that you will not be seen anymore in pages. Uh, and you need to go through and watch this broadcast again because I gave everything you need to know including how to handle it and why it's happening to us. Uh, so, so check that out in about two minutes when it processes this video, and it'll show you everything you need to know. Uh, again, if you guys have questions, if you have comments, if you have things that come up during the rebroadcast, hit me up. We'll do more broadcasts. It'll be awesome. Good luck with this. If you have ideas you want to bounce off me, let me know. If you need help coming up with concepts and content to get out there, I have a ton of stuff on Reading Transforms. We're starting to get stuff out on Cam Robinson Photography as well, because we just started working with you guys uh, as photographers. That was something that I was just asked recently to do. So uh, Reading Transforms has been going for a number of years now, and my photography as a social media strategist is newer. So we're getting content out there, but I am happy to help you guys out. Let me know what's going on, and we will create more live broadcasts with more suggestions to help you with this to get seen on Facebook despite this new algorithm. Good luck with all of this. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. You guys have a fantastic day and stay inspired. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.